The Eager Beaver is one that um, it sort of just adds a little bit more life to you know smaller, sloppier conditions. Um, sort of based it off um, boards riding in California and, and Brazil and stuff like that. Um, sort of with the, the deep single concave into like a slight V off the tail. Um, just allows you to break up your different lines and and sort of gives it a little bit more sort of zing, you know. Um, just, I don't know, it just makes it a little bit more fun in those shitty conditions. Okay, I'm so excited that the time that I've been spending with Mick Fanning um, all my life making surfboards, now really we're hitting the, the high end of his boards. This year it's been fantastic that him and I have been working together on getting the right boards for all the right conditions instead of him riding just the, the one board. This board here, which is his go-to board when the waves are anywhere from about two foot to four foot, um, it's called the Eager Beaver. It's got a single concave with a little bit of V in the tail and a little tiny bit of double concave just off the end so he doesn't slide it out when he over pushes that board. Mick now has also gone up in size. He's riding um, 5'11", 18 three quarters by two and a quarter. Um, one of the, some of the characteristics of this board, as I said, single concave, end of V, little double. It's got his tiger stripes um, down the side here, which keeps that tail nice and strong. We've also gone to this beautiful lightweight, but really strong, probably the best blank in the business. You'll know because it's got the green little stringer in here, a uh, green little glue up in there. Things nice and strong and nice and light, no matter whether you're a, a pro or, a, or, a, or a just a, a daily warrior, you're gonna love the, the performance of this board. So, Eager Beaver, less tail lift, single concave, um, makes it go really fast and gets it through all in dead sections, but also tight little tail so you can do a lot of turns. Thank you.